Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's podcast, we're going to be talking about how to create slides that compare two points in time. And uh, here's, here's the first slide. Yeah, I know it's a ton of text. This comes from uh, a presentation that was uh, created to support a research report that Morgan Stanley did. And I, I was learning about the research report and I noticed that they, they said there's an over 600 slide PowerPoint presentation. So obviously I wanted to take a look at it. And this, this is one of two slides. This is uh, the first one that talks about the situation in 2009. And they're talking about um, uh, the different companies, the market leaders in, in this particular area. And the key point actually they're talking about is the distribution of where those companies are located. So this was the 2009 scenario. And then this was the second slide, 1994. And so the point is supposed to be that uh, in 1994, the technology arena was dominated by US companies and in 2009, less so. But in all of that text and data, I have no idea how you would figure that out. It's just overwhelming. And unfortunately, it's very typical of when we compare two points in time, this is what happens too often in presentations and, and people get totally confused. So let me take this information and show you a slide that I think would be far more effective at getting this particular point across. And then we'll talk about some of the lessons. So here's the new slide. I want to talk about the change in the geogra geographic distribution of the top 30 companies and by top 30 we mean by market value so that's the ranking we're using when we look back in 1994 this was the distribution and you can see very heavily weighted towards companies based in the United States and that was very typical of what what we uh, saw back then but last year in 2009 the situation has changed dramatically you'll notice that yes the USA is still the largest of any of those uh, segments but it constitutes now only half of the top 30 as opposed to before where it constituted more than three quarters. So when we're looking at what regions we need to take into account in this particular area, we cannot focus on the USA anymore. And investors and analysts need to consider outside of North America as well. So what did I do on this particular slide? Well, obviously made it a whole lot easier to understand than that ton of text. So. Before we talk about the lessons, just a quick reminder, if you want more information on the book, go to visualsliderevolution.com, more information on my training, consulting, uh, video content, go to my website, www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. Let's talk about the lessons we can learn when comparing two points in time. First of all, this is a mistake I see all the time, is that in order to keep context for the audience, you need to use one slide, not two. If you have two slides where here's where it was before, here's where it was after, next slide, inevitably people will ask, oh, could you go back to the previous slide? And what they're really saying is I've lost context. I don't know how to interpret this new information because I can't see the old information at the same time. So keep context for your audience by using only one slide and putting both on that one slide as much as possible, show that comparison visually. Now, uh, in brackets here, I've got and only use the data that supports your point. I know that you have maybe an Excel spreadsheet or what they had put together, some sort of a massive table of information, which could lead to so many different conclusions on the base of the audience. And you'll confuse them. What you want to do is to show only the information you want and do it visually. In this case, a pie chart, because again, we were talking about distribution. So a pie chart makes the most sense to do that. Use chronological order. So from left to right, the way we normally interpret information is the past is in the left, the current is in the right. And so that's also, if you, if you arrange it, that's the way you want to do it. Now you notice that what they did was is they put the most recent first and then the past. That's reverse chronological order. It makes it hard for people to interpret because they, they're not used to seeing it that way or interpreting that way. So use chronological order and build each point in time. This is so important because if you put both points in time up at once when the slide comes up on the screen, people are not going to know what it is they're supposed to be looking at. And they may start to compare other 
aspects of what you're showing them, not the one you wanted. So by building it one by one, you will talk about here's where how it was in the past, maybe give some insight, and then here is what it is currently. And you can talk about why that's different, why it's the same, what are the observations. So keep those lessons in mind when you're comparing two points in time. Again, this has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.